In this video, I'll show you how to hide an area within a model driven app by setting some permission using the security role. Now, just to give you a context, now this is a model driven app. It has list of four tables which gets displayed. So aircraft models, airlines, destination city and flying class. Now, I have authored this video on basis of a request from one of the users. So I have published a video how to hide model driven apps navigational component using JavaScript. Now, one of the user has posted this question that I've been looking for a channel like this. Can you do a video that explains how to hide or show an area or left side tab based on whether a user is a part of that security role. For example, a custom page or an admin area. I've been trying to figure out for a while with no success. So on basis of that, I will be showing you this application. So currently I have this model driven app. It has got four tables listed and there is an area which I have created. So it's, it's named as air data as you see over here. Then if you select from here, I can go into settings area and then here I have airports. Okay. So this is that main area, air data, and this is that settings area. Now I need to simulate this with the help of an another user. Okay. So my logged in ID is from Girish Opal. Now I have a similar user named as Alex, who is also logged into the system, who has been given permission for this model driven app. Now Alex cannot see everything, but I need to show or hide Alex's some information according to the logic. Now. Just to give you a context, I have created various security roles. So first I have created a simple security role called as airline read. Okay. Now in airline read, I have added Alex as a member and even Lee is also a member of airline read. Now let's see what does airline read contain. So airline read contains some information. Okay. So let me show you the assigned table, assigned security tables over here. So airline read has airlines over here. And this is the only table at an organization level read. I have given permission. Okay. Now I have added Alex to the security role. So let's log in as Alex and see what does Alex see. So this is Alex's view. So let me show you. This is how Alex will see the information. So Alex will see the same model driven app with only one table, say airlines. Okay. Now there is no area. He cannot see area. He cannot go into that area. He cannot see other things over there. Okay. Now, if I want to show Alex other things, I can just go here and then add the table accordingly. Okay. So if I have a other table called as say cities. Okay. So let me show all tables and maybe let me search for airline. So let me give Alex aircraft model. Okay. So for this particular security role, let me say organization level read aircraft model click on save okay and now what should happen after some time alex should see one more table over here as well okay and security role takes a while for that permission to propagate and then once that is done as you see over here now alex can see a couple of table but what about the area okay now if you want to if you want to give alex the rights to see that area let's see what does that area contains okay now, if I go into the application in area, we have something called as airports. Okay. So if I give Alex the table right for airport, so let me search for airport. And as you see over here, airport, I give organization level right to Alex, click on save. And now remember airport is in a different area, right? <clears throat> Now I do a hard refresh and now Alex can see the other area as well. Now why? Because airport is part of that particular area, right? So this is how you basically do the permission level settings. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's not give Alex direct rights on airport. So if we do not give Alex direct rights on airport, he will not be able to see that. Okay. Let's do that. Let's go over here and now remove that airport level rights okay so i don't want alex to see the airport so from a direct security role perspective i have removed alex's right now the below area should be removed after the refresh now as you see alex cannot see anything now let's make use of a privilege security privilege or table level privilege 
in the application itself okay now alex cannot see the area as it is evident from here and we haven't given any security role to alex apart from airline read through which he can see the airport related data right so all good now we'll go into the model driven app so i'm i'm in the model driven app so i'm in the edit mode over here i have gone into add data so add data has four tables over here now this time i'm going to go to settings now Alex cannot see airport because Alex does not have the specific rights. So let me select, say, uh, airport view or airport form. So as you see over here, there is airport view and airport form. So let me select airport view and go into the settings over here. Go to the advanced settings. And now I can see a couple of things over here. So I can grant table level privilege or a miscellaneous level of privilege so that Alex can see those information. OK, but in order to, to do all this thing, I need to first create a dummy security role. Okay, so let me create a security role. Now you can name it anything, but I'll just call it as a dummy air app role. Okay, so this is just like a dummy air application role. Okay, and I will, whatever you want, app opener privileges, you can select that. You select the business unit and click on save. So this is just a dummy role which I am creating. Now, in this dummy role, so this is that dummy air app role I have created. Now, let me go back. Let me search for that dummy. And here, I will say members. Okay, so I will add Alex over here. So I haven't given any, any privileges. I'll just add Alex over here. So in the security role, we have just created a security role, didn't add any privilege, just added Alex over here. Go to your model driven app. Now you need to refresh this because in order for that newly created security role to appear, you need to refresh this. Now I've just refreshed it. Let me go back again to the area settings. Now remember still Alex cannot see the area, okay? Because Alex does not have a direct level security privilege. Now, if I go to airport view over here, go to settings, go to advanced setting. And now here you have table privilege and miscellaneous privilege. So you have an option to add a table privilege or a miscellaneous privilege. Let me add table privilege. And here I will say, which table privilege do you want to use? Okay. So let me say I want to use, uh, say airport right because this belongs to the table level privilege airport so i think my keyboard is playing with me i can't type anything so let me just cancel this off add table privilege let me select it instead of typing airport now in this table privilege what do you want a specific person to see okay now defines whether a sub area is displayed based on privileges in any security rule that are assigned to the user so i will say uh defines whether a sub area is displayed based on privilege in any security rule so instead of giving all create read write i will just give read and i'll say apply so what i've done i have added the table level privileges airport read okay and i will publish this information and now so the person who has a table privilege of airport of read should be able to see that area now i have created this dummy air app role now similarly for my previous example i have created an another dummy app role i will just show you perm one which i just created uh, just for this uh, for an another example now here in perm app i also i have added this airport as an organization level so similarly the dummy role which you have created so let me show you the dummy role now Remember, we just created this role. We haven't added anything. We just added members as Alex, but now we need to assign some privilege. So we will just assign a privilege of airport. 
and let me put it as say read at a organization level okay you can put it at a user level as well so airport read now this dummy role i've just named it as a dummy you can call it as airport app role or something like that and now this will only give read privilege this will give read privilege to that person who is part of this role which is alex and now we have explicitly mentioned for this airport view give the table privilege of airport of read okay and we'll click on publish and we'll wait for the publish to complete And we are now logged in as Alex. So let's go into Alex. So this is logged in as Alex. So let me go into airline application again. And now you should see the area. And now you can see this area, right? Now, if I go to settings, go to airports. Now, if you go into any of the record set, you should see that this is a read only. You do not have access to record. Now, why it is happening? Because let's see the check access for Alex. Now, how does Alex gets this access? So Alex is getting this access from the dummy air app role and not from any other role. Now, dummy air app role gives a read privilege, right? Now, if you have a read privilege, then only show that record. So two things. One is use security privilege to show or hide the record and also to give a permission level of that specific role. So if I go over here and this time I will say, oh, let's give him a uh, edit access as well. Okay, so let me give it at an organization level, click on save, go back to Alex and now Alex should be able to edit the record as well. Now, as you see, Alex can able to edit the record as well. So in a nutshell, what we have done we have created a dummy security role. So take, for example, if you want to show or hide some uh, some left menu items. Now, the left menu items can be a table or it can be a page or it can be anything. You can just go to that specific record set, create a corresponding security role, which will give you a specific privilege. Now, this is about uh, read, write. Okay. Now, you go into your model-driven app. Now, within your model-driven app, you so let me show you the model driven app so this is a model driven app go into the view go into the settings and then from here you specify a table privilege now in table privilege which what we have done we have said that if someone has a read okay or a write then only show if someone has delete then show if it is append then show now depending on how you architect your security within your uh, application you can show or hide this record now why this area was visible so you cannot set any permission on this area now why this area was visible because there was one item over here now if there are five or six items in this area and if the user had access to one of the item then this area will be visible so you cannot technically disable this area now this area has nothing to do with permissions this area is just housing the information over here now this area only displays if one of the item gets shown now, if I remove the read access from here, user will not be seeing this specific area. So that's it, folks. This is how you basically assign a permission uh, to a left menu item. So as requested by the user, so the user has asked me how to hide or show an area or a left side tab based on whether a user is in a security role. So this is how it needs to be done. But make sure that you use a proper security role you can use security rule per security rule per table. I know it is a bit too much, but then if you want to clearly segregate those information, you need to do that. But if you have a single security rule, like how I have like airline read or airline supervisor, you can make use of that as well. But for this example, I've just created this dummy air app rule to show the specific privilege that you can use in a model driven app to assign a table privilege for a specific left menu item. So that's it folks, thanks for watching.